And airport is a very perilous environment. You have to deal with things in the air and on the ground and moving at very fast speeds and very slow speeds and just a highly dynamic arena. In order to have a UAV operate in airport traffic, it needs to be able to do multiple common things that pilots typically do. The project we've been working on is called Akugoda. What we're trying to do here is build the most intelligent terminal area robot to be able to maintain safety and operate these unmanned vehicles in an airport environment. It needs to speak over radio, coordinate with a air traffic controller, and maintain a level of situational awareness. So currently, the UAV, once it comes to stop in the taxiway, to have a truck come out and tow it, a whole crew of 40-some people to support its operation. And our specific goal is to reduce the workload for the individuals and to you know, increase efficiency of operations. There's a lot of different parts that play. We need to integrate different components. There's a lot of magic that we have to do in order to get everything to work. We have about six computers in there. In terms of sensors, a ladybug, which is basically a uh, five camera setup. In addition, we also have a three radar sensor in the front of the car. The Agigoda system is able to monitor the radio channel and determine which instructions and commands are directed at itself and to act upon only those. It was important to not give up to constantly face failure every day, fail 10 times, 20 times for every, every step forward, taking on lots of risk and um, trying to push technology forward. That to me is ingenuity. So in mid-April, we had to do these uh, demos in front of the customer's eyes and to uh, do everything that we said it was gonna do. Towards the end, when we get to the final demo, we probably pull about 80 hours a week or so. So uh, we've been working pretty hard. If you hear the audio for our final demo, um, you can hear me um, just you know speaking to the car directly the entire testing time. The last two months, I would say, prior to that demo were some of the most difficult times of my life. But when we saw that thing actually run in front of the customer's eyes and to do everything that we said it was going to do, it was all worth it. OK, that was a success. You know, this is not the end of the project. This is first foundational steps. I hope to bring this to the level of sophistication that it actually gets on airplanes, gets out into the world, starts changing the world.